Hiya! Welcome back to the channel. Uh, well, today, what are we doing today? Well, I was going to do something else today, but it's raining, so I'm not fitting a clutch. Um, but I've got something else that I want to do, and that is something I've already done. Brake pads. Now, I threw some brake pads in this probably about oh, fucking ages ago, and they're squeaking a little bit, um, and it is, it's borderline irritating. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the brake pads. But the brake discs are a bit worn. They've got lips on them, but I'm not going to change the brake discs. I'm going to experiment in a different way of resolving that issue. So, let's, let's see how that goes. And for this method of um, what we're going to do, these are some of the tools that I'm going to need. We're going to have to jack the shitter up uh, using a jack, and then we're going to have to stabilise the shitter using some axle stands. Sorry, jack stands. So put them underneath the vehicle and make it nice and solid. Um, first, let's jack the vehicle up in the designated jacking position, which is somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Yeah. It needs to be high enough to get that underneath to there, which it's not yet. And as you can see, that is nice and solidly positioned on the edge of that jack. And now we can cut our axle stand in a location under the vehicle, which is not high enough to go under. Somewhere around there. Like. So, and then we just slowly let the jack down, nice and gently. And uh, it looks relatively solid. It'll do. The same on the other side before proceeding with the next step, like so. And now, you take the wheels off. Now, if you haven't got an impact gun, then, and you're using, you know, you're using a breaker bar or whatever. Obviously you're gonna to have to break the, the bolts off when the wheel's on the floor. But fortunately I do have an impact gun and I don't have to fuck about in that sort of manner. That is quite tight. Right, so now we've got our wheels off on both sides. Now, I'm only showing you one side, but at the same time as doing one side, I'm doing the, the other side. Um, and if we look at these pads, we can see... Oh, you can't see because it's not focused. Now you can see. They're actually not too bad. Right, they're not too bad. They've got quite a lot of life left in them, looking at the thickness of the ones that I can see. But I've got some new ones, so I'll change them. But before I change them, I'm going to um, renew, completely renew, this disc. And to do that, I need to start the vehicle. So let's start it. Yes. Then we'll put it into uh, fifth gear, straight into fifth. Yes, that's ticking over. I'll tell you what. This is a fast bastard. We are left with is what can all be described as like a ghetto style lathe. We've got our, our grinder with our specific brake disc um, flat disc for brake discs, and then when we get them. Have to turn the engine off. What you're left with can only be described as a brand new disc. 
Uh, I mean, feeling this here, the lips. The disc wasn't actually as warm as what I thought it was going to be. It was actually not too bad. It's just a bit rusty. Um, where the lip, where the pad misses. So, I mean, this is a complete waste of time. But I've taken that lip off and it feels quite smooth. So, I'm going to do the same on the other side. In fact, first I'll change these pads on this side and finish this side off because I'm going to film this side. It's going to be dark. And I'll do the same on the other side. And I'll drive it and feel probably horrendous pedal. But we'll see. Uh, anyway, we need, uh, I think it's a 12 milli, some shit, um, and some cleaning apparatus, which I've now acquired. So this one's a 12, that one's a 13, because it's been changed at some point, and it's changed to a 13, but it doesn't really matter. I'll undo this one. I'll take this off. Before I do that, though, let's send the, uh, the piston back, nice and gently. Ideally, right, I should tell you to either, well, really I should tell you to open a bleed nipple so that the fluid can come this way rather than going up. It can damage my system, I've never had it do it. Um, and at best, you should really open the bonnet and open the lid, which as you can see, I've not done that either. Uh, but that's nice and returned now. Oh, it also turn the steering to point you. It does make a difference, it gives you more accessories. Right, so let's take that shitter out of there. And then I can take all this off. Look, pointing the camera at nothing for a change. I can take that off there because that looks like it is actually a bit dry. So let's take that off, leave it. Not meant to leave it dangling, but let's do that anyway. And uh, let's get these pads out. Yes, you can see where they've been against the lip. The back one, to be honest with you, I've not tapped as good as the front one. But don't see the back one, do I? Right, so now I need to take all this off, give it a good wank off and a clean. By the way, these squeal shims is two different types of them. So you've got like the two two handed is left and right handed. So like that one and that one are the same. That one and that one are the same. Just in case you try and put me wrong. Uh, these want taken out as well because they're going to want greasing. But let's let's clean it first. For which I'm going to use a screwdriver, a wire brush, and hope and wishes because this is an important bit. You see this bit here? We're cleaning this here now. I don't know if I've mentioned this in any of the other videos I've done on brakes, but this, if this if this corrosion built up on this part, the pad sits opposite and then so this corrosion built up on it, it'll grab the pad and then you end up with sticking brakes. And the squeal the squeal ship, the slide with the pad goes in front of that. So I'm gonna dig that out with the screwdriver first. I'll do it with all of them. So if it's something like that, and then I'm gonna get a wire brush, just give it a quick toss off with a wire brush. All over. Inside the as well, the back of that. So the, do all that as well. But I need two hands. Fuck it, that'll do. And then we need to do the same with them. Like so. Now, if yours are like this and they're a bit of a shitter and they're not shiny, you're probably better off getting new ones if you can because the pads are meant to slide against this, which is why they're made out of like a hard, shiny, sort of stainless steel as such, or whatever the fuck they're made out of. Um, if they're not shiny, then they could cause issues. I haven't got new ones and I'm too tight to buy them and I can't bother waiting for them. But if you have got the option for putting new ones in, if they are a bit like this, you are going to be better. Like I said, it's not, necess you know, it's not a necessity to do, but it would probably benefit from it. So that one, you see though it's handed, won't go in there, so it goes in that one, like so. And then that one, the opposite way around, it goes like so, and then the other two at the top, the same, like that. So now we've got our pads, these are the new ones. Uh, we need to put some copper, you know, a bit of copper dick on them, so on the back and around the ears of the pads, which is a bit sort of like where it's lubricated. You don't want to put loads on, like I said, the argument whether to put any on at all is a long running argument among mechanics. Uh, we'll never be, we'll never be over with that. Uh, I put some on. So I'm going to put some on, so anyway, I'll put a bit of that on and I'll put the shitter in, like that.
nice. And then do the same on the inside with the other pad, like that. So now we have got some silicone grease, which we need to put into these slides. Now that slide is already out as part of that, so I can just bung a bit of grease in there or I'll put it on the slide, it'd be even better. This one isn't out. Now that, sometimes these stick on, got like, it's like a bit of a foreskin sort of arrangement. And you pull that off and just put um, a bit of silicone grease on there and then put it back in which I'm going to demonstrate in a nice professional manner. Bit of silicone grease, pack off, bit of silicone grease, pull it out, put it on the floor where it's all dirty so we can get bits of stones in it and fuck up. Put some in, put some on there. Yes. And then lovingly replace this into here. Now obviously, you don't want to do that and put it on the floor and get bits of stone stuck to it. So I'm going to pull it back out and clean it. But when you put it all the way in, once it goes all the way in, that shitter will hook back over there. Same sort of deal with the top one, apart from it's still part of the caliper. So this is a bit of a waste of time, sort of teaching her to suck eggs in and putting a bit of silicon on a pin. And uh, nice like that, and it just goes together the way it comes apart. Some pads you will get new bolts with, hence why this one is a different size to that one because this is a 12 mil and it's not going in, but it will. All right, so. And then obviously, once you've done that, you are taught to spec, click, and that is pretty much, needs a brake pedal pumping, as whenever you've done anything like this, but I'm going to straighten the wheel, put the wheel back on this side, and now we're going to do the other side. I'm going to make you pop like that. Right, so I'm now halfway there, but this is near the end of the video because I'm not going to film the other side. So the wheel's back on on this side, and now I need to do the same as what I've done on this side, on the other side, as you might have gathered, which I am now going to do. So as I said I would, I've done the same as the other side. So it's all pumped up, wheel's ready to go on, and then we're done. The other thing I didn't mention, which is why I've come back now, is because this, this brake hose here, when you take this off, if you take it all the way out, you can fuck up and twist it. Make sure you don't do that because not only is it an MOT fail, it's probably like, well, it's your brakes in it and they can fuck up. So I put this wheel back on and remove the uh, jack stands from both sides. And now. car is back on the tarmac and I can talk up the wheel nuts oh wheel bolts in this case oh sorry the rag nuts for American viewers which I think is not look at this talked up to perfection yeah they're tight let's check the other side which to be honest with you are probably too tight if there's a such thing but I'm not undoing them to do it again so let's drive the shagger and see if it stopped our squeak, which I didn't demonstrate before I took it apart, so you just have to take the word for it. Right, and as for the all important test, so let's go and drive it. Um, what I need to check for is I need to check that the pedal isn't pulsating under my foot like a throbbing penis. Um, you know, if I've made it so it's wonky or anything, you know, warped with the grinder. So I need to check for that first. And then the reason why I've been fucking about with it in the first place is because 
Not when using the brake, when using the brake, funnily enough, it used to sort of shut it up. But when driving, I used to get a high-pitched, mm -hmm. fuck off. I used to get a high-pitched squeaking, um, you know, over about sort of 20 mile an hour, um, which, like I said, it was a little bit irritating. So let's go and see what we are left with. So, so far, so good. Um, we haven't got any um, any squeaking yet. And let's see if the brakes actually work. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. And it seems so far successful. And it even stops nice and straight. Um, just to uh, just to point out as well, whenever you change brake pads or anything like that, they will need bedding in. So your brakes will need to bed in to become to full efficiency and effect. Well, these are actually looking quite well. And as for a conclusion, that seems to have gone pretty well. The brakes are actually nicer than they have been, from what I can remember this car ever been. They're pretty smooth and they work, and they're not even bedded in yet. Um, but mainly, the, um, the, the squeak's gone, um, and it, it's working as it should be. Uh, so that is pretty much it for this video. Um, I haven't forgotten about the ones that I've got to do like second parts of like the rusty seal. I need to do some some paint work on that. I've not forgot about it. I've just not. It's been raining constantly. Um, and the same with the the D cat, which has got other things to go with it. Same deal. It's been too bad weather and the clutch is slipping. Um, but they are you know on, on the list of things to do so i've not forgotten about them uh, anyway that is that's it for this one don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time